attack. I guess I'm gonna go with the normal difficulty level. Scrub doesn't sound uh, too appealing. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Ah, do, 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 do. Fucking <coughs> story in our. <coughs> Holy shit. Ah. Story in a ROM hack, who cares, man? Oh, yeah, he did, right. Yeah. GRP actually sent me this file, so. I got it from him. So the emulation emulation uh, seems to be alright. I'm playing this on uh, Nintendo Wii, actually. Seems to be working. Alright, this is interesting. Okay, I see. So yeah, I don't know anything about this hack, to be honest. Anything at all. Like, I haven't seen... I've, I've seen, like, the first room, and that's, that's about it. Yeah, it's basically the same backgrounds and enemies as Zero Mission, I guess, but they sort of, sort of uh, changed the colors. Palette swap or whatever. That's about it. I recognize this music. I, is this from, like, Fusion or something? <coughs> Can't quite remember. Dude, god damn it. Okay, is that is that in Zero Mission? Can you do that in Zero Mission? I didn't know about that. Can you do I don't recognize this animation in Zero Mission at all. I don't think you can. Wall, wall jumping with the stick is a bit uh, awkward. Ah, whatever. Hey, how are you doing, Soast? Yeah, I know, man. It's a, it's a good picture. Why? I can't wall jump off this wall here. Well, maybe I can. Maybe I just suck. If you work for a living, why do you kill yourself working? Do you? I hope you don't. God damn it. Hello, Ebon. Alright, it's time for Long Beam. Freaking Long Beam. That's kind of a useless upgrade. You should just have that. It's like when you start a game. Alright, okay. Oh yeah, well, this is clearly a short hack. You get like all the major upgrades instantly. Do you remember in Seer Mission you get like, you get the super missiles like very late into the game. Like when you're at Ridley. It's not like in Super Metroid. Alright. Uh, okay. So yeah, yeah, I wonder if there's gonna be like more hacks of this game because this is this is the first one and this game is uh, 13 years old now So th this game is almost retro at this point Actually, I remember getting this I actually imported this from United States because I wanted to play this a month earlier You know This game got out like a month earlier in USA So I actually imported this game back in 2004 and uh, yeah it's a pretty good game I got like all the endings for this game it's like 14 different endings or something so yeah it's pretty solid it's not it's not super metro though that's for sure there we go okay 
okay, there's something here. When do I get the Morph Ball, by the way? I have Super Missiles before Morph Ball. Fuck. It's weird. Alright. Where is the Morph Ball, man? There's the answer. All right. All right. Dude, it's like fucking 20 million shots to kill one of these guys. <coughs> what the fuck? That's a bit redundant. I actually remember beating this game on like low percent hard. You unlocked like a special ending if you did that. That was a pain in the ass, killing Ridley on low percent hard. I don't think there's any other... Are you fucking kidding me right now? I let my guard down for like a fucking brief moment and I fucking died instantly. Yeah, what's up with that? I don't know. That's weird. Some kind of glitch or something with the not notification system. Yeah, I got killed fucking instantly. Whatever. I guess I can't let my guard down. Yeah, that, yeah, that's bullshit. It's kind of like in the first Metroid, you always start with 30 health. That's so fucking annoying. Every time you die, you have to go around and collect uh, energy. In Metroid 1, you know. And you die like instantly. If you don't pay attention. How are you doing, S4? Yeah, that's definitely a de design flaw. But the game, like the first Metroid, was released in like 87 or something like that, so. It's the first of its first of its kind. Dude, the fucking Sosti alert is still stuck. It's glitching out, man. Thank you for the host, by the way, Sost. Alright, let's not die this time. By the way, did I get an E-Tank last time? Maybe I did. I died so fucking quickly by the hopper. E-N-T. Dynamite. How you doing, man? Alright. Yeah, man, I've been to your stream lately, like, you're doing a lot of dedicated practice, I see. For, like, you're, like, multitasking categories. You're, like, practicing any percent and RBO and low percent, like, all at once. That's, that's interesting. How you managed to do that. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, you got like a 103 in RBO or something. That's uh, that's quite impressive. Category is getting more optimized. That's like for the longest time that was the category that was that wasn't optimized at all. RBO. 
And now it's getting optimized, I guess. What the fuck? What the fuck was that? Dude, like, there we go. Also, I'm playing this with the GameCube controller. I mentioned that earlier, but it's worth uh, it's worth stating. Oh really, dude? I like I need to pay attention. Fuck the children. <laughs> Hello Benji, how is uh, Metroid Prime uh, Hunters coming along, Benji? Metroid Prime Hunters. Right. Yeah, I wonder what the limit is for RBO, like how far you could go with that category, or how low. Nice venue. I knew I could count on you. Alright. Alright. I, I need to pay attention now, okay? If I die again, I'm gonna be salty. Really fucking salty. Dude, that, that would be quite something. I, I'd like to see that. Cut the one. I could use save states, but uh, save states is for chickens, you know? So let's not do that. It's like using a game genie, you know, back in the day. It's, it's not allowed. What's, what's up with that wall, man? It's like, you can't wall jump off of it. Whatever. Alright, here we go. I have to, there is like... I can go and refill energy after this. I have to do that. There's a statue that refills your energy. Here, though. I haven't seen any save stations yet. Right. Oh my god. Dude, why? Like certain walls you can't wall jump off of. Freaking inconsistent rules, man. <laughs> Urgh, fuck it.
All right, there we go. Hey, what's up, Pedo? Thank you, man. Oh, okay, it's this one. This guy. Uh, I think there's some issues with the emulation right now. <laughs> Fucking music was like all crackling and shit. Glitched out. Hey, how are you doing, Plasma? Nice to see you here, man. Long time no see. Thank you. Uh, okay, so that that's it, I guess. Well, I did I did get the charge beam, so that's good. I believe the frame rate dropped during that boss fight, but I'm not sure, but it felt like it. The boss fight was too much to handle, man. Hey, Nessie. Thank you, man. Oh my... Oh, no, I haven't saved. Like, I have to play it like a chicken. Dude, what's up with the fucking scrolling? Look at this shit. Well, it's a ROM hack, but still. So... Yeah. I don't have any bombs. There we go. Chicken strats all day, man. Where do we go? Somewhere. Yeah. All right. Dude, that's like the first door in the freaking game, the first bubble door. Wave beam? I was hoping for bombs, actually. Hi, doing, Leo. Welcome to the stream.
All right. Wave Beam is not really useful right now. Yeah, I think I think this door is still gonna be locked. Possibly. Up here. Yep. Yeah. Alright. It's been a long time since they released like a Super Metroid hack, by the way. I think the latest one was why faster it's called and i beat that hack uh, on stream actually it's it was pretty good but it, it was also very short dude i get everything but bombs fuck man ah is he he might be I have no idea, man. Yeah, there there has been like a shortage of uh, hacks lately, I guess. This right here. This is a seer mission ROM hack. I'm always down for like new hacks for Super Metroid, but this game as well. This is, you know, this is the first hack for this game, so I'm, I'm kind of interested in playing this. Alright. Like, I prefer the engine of uh, Zero Mission over Fusion, because in Fusion your, your wall jumps is so restrictive, you know. Like the way you wall jump in uh, in fusion is, is so bad. I don't like that at all. So so this game definitely has you know a be better engine. Yeah, I don't know what I ha what I missed though. Of the good ones. Perhaps there is some I missed, but like I played like 30 or something. Oh, have I? I don't think I've been. Uh, or have I? No, I haven't. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, uh, high amp boots obviously helps getting up here. Have you played this Eternize? This right here? It's uh It's the first zero mission hack. It's pretty hype. Alright. Dude, there is like no save stations. That's a problem. I haven't encountered a single one yet. The pressure is on, I guess. Oh, is this a fucking safe station? No? Is it? Yes, okay. Safety safe. Safety safe for chickens. Well, you should try it out. <laughs> Turn ice. This is the only one, so there's only one to play for this game. Uh, okay, P power bomb door. Yeah, I got what I needed. Now I can feel safe. All right. 
get it. I think it is. Yes, I think it is. If you can tell me of other ones, please do. I think this is the only one. Because I don't know of any other ones. I don't think I can go here. Dude, I still don't have bombs. I have actually like... I don't know, like two years ago or something. I was looking for hacks for this game, but I couldn't find any. So I, I, I think this is the only one. I'm not 100% sure, but... I think I can go uh, up and right now. Let's see. Here we go. All right. Up here. Okay. All right. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot more interest for Super Metroid, obviously, because Super Metroid has the best engine. Out of any like 2D Metroid, but this game has the second best engine in my opinion. Out of like all the 2D Metroids. Okay, so is this like the only like decent one? Because are the others like mini hacks where the map is basically the same? I don't like those ones. You do, man. You do. Another dead end. Have you been working with Super Metroid lately? Eternized Dragon? Like anything? Trying to find stuff in the game? doing tasses uh, yeah there are uh, metro there are like super metro hacks with excellent level design yeah I will admit like the level design for this isn't perfect but it's all right like it's it's good enough for a mini hack I think like everything is compact you know like all the items are in close proximity to e each other. <sighs> oh really? Super Goals and Ghosts, that's, uh, that's a pretty good game. 
Actually, the first time I beat that game, I think it was on Game Boy Advance. The GBA version of it. And I still don't have bombs. What the fuck? The gravity suit didn't change like my underwater movement. Okay. Fri frigid water, blah blah, okay. Yeah, it's apparently frigid water negates the gravity suit or whatever. Yeah. Alright, I don't know, like, gravity suit, it's not that helpful right now. Honestly. There's gotta be something. Oh, I, I don't think I entered this door, did I? Wait. No! No! Fucking way, dude. Hey, fast record. Evening. Oh my god. I've, I haven't heard of it, so I don't know. I guess I should look into this game some more and see if there's anything else that's interesting to play as far as hack goes. Because I've actually beaten like the original Seer mission, I've beaten that game like 15 times back when it first came out because I got like all the different endings for it. It's a, it's a very short game, you know, Seer Mission. Yeah, that's basically this game, the, the quest uh, the quest for bombs. Dude, I'm gonna get power bombs, power bombs before I get bombs, man. I'm telling you. Okay, I guess I need to go somewhere else. Both of them, you think? They're pretty solid games, but they're not as good as Super Metroid. I think I beat the uh, fusion like twice or something, but zero mission like 15 time times. So I obviously like that game better. Here we go. Hey, thank you, man. I appreciate it. What's up, Kofu? Welcome. Tuffle man. How you doing, man? Oh, shit. Yeah, that's the thing that I didn't like about uh, Fusion. It's way too linear, you know? And there's too much, like, text, so... A game with a lot of text doesn't have, you know, good replay value because you have to like skip through the text every fucking time. Just mash the button. Mash away the dialogue. Well, 
about time. About time. Two years. I think you're exaggerating just a little bit. More like two months, dude. Every, every time I find something interesting that I think is fun to stream, I'm gonna stream it. That's basically... That's basically my rule. This is very much uh, appropriate for the kind of stream I wanna do. Uh, okay, I do have bombs now, so that opens up a lot of possibilities. Oh yeah, the X-Fusion hack. Don't hold your breath for that though. It's gonna take forever, probably. Yeah, don't do that. Alright, is this boss now? I think, yeah, I think I'm gonna drop frames now. Probably because I guess the emulator can't handle it properly. I'm playing it on the Wii. Let's see here. Oh, it's this guy. I, the fucking wasp or whatever. Whatever the hell that is. Well, that was hard, right? That was fucking intense. Honestly, I haven't done like anything special really. I just haven't had like any good ideas for, for the stream or anything. Gotta have good ideas, man. I just snap my finger and I get uh, WR, dude. Let's see. What? Dude, that looked, that looked kind of glitchy when I freaking ran through that door. Fuck. Well, this ROM hack seems to be pretty easy right now, so it's probably not gonna be that rage-inducing at all. It's gonna be a cakewalk. I do actually play like games outside of stream now. Not that much, but I do play games more. I've actually been messing with the Wii U emulation. That's actually a thing now. You can emulate Wii U on your computer. So that's that's rather interesting. I'm always interested in stuff like that. So wait. No, fuck. No, like some games run close to flawless. Like I played the uh, Super Super Mario 3D World 
And I had 60 FPS th throughout the entire game. Dragon. Like, I had constant 60 FPS throughout the entire thing. Alright, so more to the left. Okay. But yeah, most, like, most games do not run, like, accurately. That's correct. Some games do, though. Uh... Depends on the game, Dragon. Like, some, some games run close to flawless. There is some, like, uh, crackling audio in, like, certain places, but not much. Fuck! Why did he put that goddamn thing there? Okay. Let's kill it. Let's... <laughs> what the fuck, man? Come on. I'm bad. Fuck! There we go. God damn it. That was uh, sort of frustrating. PJ Salt. Yeah, that's right. There, there are so with the Wii U emulator, there are two people working on it. One guy is working full time, and the second guy, second guy is doing it part time. I think both of them are from the Netherlands, and they get get like uh, thirty thousand bucks a month <laughs> on fucking Patreon for that shit. I mean, it takes. Uh, I mean, if you want to make like a Wii U emulator, you probably have to be a genius, I guess, so people are willing to pay for it. It's understandable. Alright, what now? I have Plasma Beam. Can I get up here? Yeah, of course. But yeah, Wii U emulation is uh, pretty resource intensive, obviously. So you need like a decent uh, desktop computer if you wanna if you wanna attempt that, or like a really high high end like laptop. Alright, where do we go? <laughs> yeah, right, no, not exactly. The Wii U, how many, like, the Wii U is basically, basically like Dreamcast as far as sales go. Like, they sold uh, like 13 million Wii U's or something like that. And that's, I think they sold like 23 million GameCube, and that was like, they considered GameCube a failure, sort of. Yeah. I don't know, the the Switch is actually doing pretty good right now. Like, the Switch had a very solid, like, first two months or something like that. But long term, I don't know, we'll see.
Are we going to see like a Metroid game for E3? Probably not, but <laughs> can always hope. All right. Hello, Steven. There we go. I think it's an interesting hack. I wish there would be like a little bit more env environmental variety. Like everything sort of looks the same. It's, you know, the cave en environment. But, you know, that's fine. And there's like, this is the only song so far. I don't know, I actually, I played through Super Mario 3D World, it was actually a pretty solid game. And it displayed a pretty good amount of uh, creativity and uh, the graphics were stellar as well. Really, really good art direction. Oh, you're talking on oh, Met Metroid exclusive, yeah. I don't know, man. Yeah, 3D World is a very good platformer, like... You should definitely play it if you like platformers. I don't know, we'll have to see. Do you remember like uh, the Federation Force announcement trailer? There's like 90% dislike on freaking uh, YouTube. <laughs> and I thought, I thought Nintendo was gonna like uh, disable the dislikes and likes for the YouTube video, but they didn't. I, th I think Federation Force sold like Dude, this is the Mecha Ridley. 90,000 copies or something for Federation Force. Which is abysmal. Ah, oh, dude, the, the controls are so awkward. Metroid another end, dude. That's gonna be the next game. <laughs> we are proud to announce Metroid another end. This is what fans have been waiting for for almost a decade. Okay, let's not die, okay? How about that? Let's use supers, how about that? There we go. Well, that was quite... Is this... Are we done with the hack now? We done? I guess we done, pretty much. Are we going here? Yes, we are. Oh my god! Is this gonna be like a hardcore escape? Dude, fucking roll. So I have to kill all of them? Is that what I have to do? No? Oh, dude. Oh, there we go. Okay, I get it. Oh, stupid stress, man. Oh, 
Dude, I don't even have power bombs. What's up with that? <laughs> in before you need power bombs to freaking complete the game. Yeah, I did. I did play through that. So, little garden. I'm pretty sure I did. No. Move! Move your ass. Four minutes to detonation. I did that one? I think so. I'm not 100% sure, but I recognize the name. So I probably did it. Oh no, not in the. Ni no! I'm gonna fucking die. Watch me die. Alright. Yes! No! Open up! Hello. Holy shit! No! Open! There we go. Ah, dude, that was like... I barely did that. <laughs> Imagine if that was the full game back when... Back in 2004 would have gotten excellent reviews. <laughs> yeah, I was really close, like I was one hit away from dying. <laughs> I did it first try to escape, man. Barely. Right. Alright, ten out of ten best game ever. Play it. Are we get, gonna get something interesting with the end picture? Some fan service, perhaps? Alright. Oh, really? In before there is a naked picture and I get a freaking warning from Twitch or something. That'd be something. I should do at some point I should do uh, uh, faces of evil link for CDI because I did sell the wand of Gamelon you remember that like two months ago or something I did that it was quite an experience and there's another one
Yeah, she's gonna remove the suit and it's gonna be Gabe Newell or something. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? That, that was... This is so stupid. Uh, Dragon Ball. <laughs> That's not... That doesn't even make any fucking sense, man. What the fuck? That's so fucking goofy. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, that's so stupid. <laughs> Why? Doesn't even make any fucking sense, dude. Like, why? Why? It was freaking Son Goku all along, right? <laughs> all right, we got the gallery and we got Metroid 1. You see that? We unlocked the first Metroid. Let's see here. Gallery. Oh my god! Yes! And that's the entire gallery, great. Oh, what do I have here? 1984, 2004. Well, that's... <laughs> I remember that, you actually unlock um, the original Metroid in Seer Mission. No, this is actually the normal Metroid. 